It's due by tomorrow. Oh, hey Royals, it's Allie, and this is Royals Week in Review, Pandemic Edition. Hope you guys been safe out there. Hey Cam, let's take a to get out this campus book. Photo out to his gram at the Caribbean 415. Get out this and connect with their charter. Hmm, do you guys know about the staff and student of the month for October and September? Well, me neither. Let's watch this video and find out who they are. Ooh, look, our lovely principal, Mr. Rafter, has sent us a message. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, what's up, KM? My name is David Radford, and I'm principal of Kent Meridian High School. First, I want to say thank you to the great Royals Week in Review team for giving me an opportunity to address you today. I cannot imagine too many other times in our nation's history when it has been more difficult to be a teenager or a student. I want to say thank you to all of you to get up each morning and do your best. We cannot change what happened yesterday, but we can always positively impact today and tomorrow. As we move into quarter number two, we know that several of our students are struggling. We recently sent out quarter one report cards and we have more students earning low grades than ever before. I cannot emphasize enough that our grades matter and will become official at the end of the semester in January. Your participation and engagement may be critical to your success. Now, I understand that participating in an online course may not feel natural, and not many students want to turn their camera on. I get it. I've been in several meetings over the last six months with adults who don't want to turn their cameras on either. But let us, let's remember that in the classroom, in the regular classroom, the teacher has the ability to see your face and read your body language and know whether or not you're understanding the material, whether they're going too fast or too slow, and whether they're ready to move on to the next step in the lesson. With not enough people turning on their cameras and responding to the teacher's questions, it's like the teacher is operating with a blindfold on. Now think of it this way. Would you go get a haircut and ask the person who's cutting your hair to wear a blindfold? They can cut your hair but they can do a much better job if you let them remove the blindfold. Now let me address the school day from 1 o'clock to 3.30. We did not schedule you for classes in the afternoon because we don't think it's healthy for you or the teacher to be in front of a screen all day long. But 1 o'clock to 3.30 is still school time. Time for you to study. Time for you to do homework. Time for you to take notes or review notes. Time for you to reach out to the teacher for help and time for the teacher to reach out to you to offer some support and for you to respond to that support. Some days there might be more work, some days there might be less, but one o'clock to 3.30 is still school time. There's not a single story for why students are struggling. We talk to a lot of students and parents and we hear stories about students needing to take care of younger siblings, parents losing jobs, family members contracting COVID, and all of this leads to a great amount of stress for you, and it makes it difficult for you to prioritize school. Please do not suffer in silence. Reach out to a trusted adult. We care about you in addition to your academics. Do you have enough food? Do you have enough supplies? Clothing, do you have shelter? Do you struggle with mental health, depression, anxiety, or motivation? Let us help you. Talk to an adult that you trust. And if you're not quite sure who to call, go to our website, scroll down to the bottom and find our phone number. Give us a call. One of our wonderful administrative assistants will be happy to talk with you and connect you to an adult that can help. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff of Kent Meridian High School, I hope that you and your family are safe and healthy 
and continue to remain so. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and as always, we cannot wait until the day when we can see you in person. Go Royals. Did I fill in my FAFSA? I did. And if you're a senior like me that has filled out their FAFSA, you can enter a competition to win Target gift cards. Let's see this video and see if you're qualified to get in. Are you having trouble finding resources for the holidays this year? Well, no worries. The Kent School District is here to help. The holidays are coming up, so that means the Kent School District wants to help you out. If you need any help with getting meals, gifts, or toys for your family, you can go to the Kemmery website and find a pink icon and click on the pink icon that says 2020 Holiday Resources. There, you can find all the information for what you're looking for. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Royals Week in Review. See you later, Royals! Let us help you. Reach out to a trusted adult. Nah, I think I already said that. <laughs>